Oh, man. Uh. So then, like, yeah, we get lots of fighting. She's kicking some guy off the stairs, and he gets beamed away before he can, like, hit the ground, which is pretty cool. Um, I wish I could be beamed away sometimes. Me too. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> um, we do get a scene of, like, uh, a man or a Borg – could be a Borg. He's like on an exam table and there's people like doing all kinds of like medical scans on him. Um, we get lots more voiceover work. People saying, sometimes I worry that you have forgotten who you are. Um, and then a woman saying, we do not. And so in the same scene, we're getting what I'm reading online is a Borg prison that's run by Romulans. Okay. So um, there's a sign on the catwalk where the Romulans are patrolling. And it says this facility has gone 5,843 days without an assimilation. And it's written in both English and Mm -hmm. Romulan. Mm -hmm. So definitely. Yeah, go ahead. That makes sense. Then if it would, that it would be a, uh, you know, some sort of Romulan holding facility, at least. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, too, like, in Star Trek lore, especially after Deep Space Nine, like, we know that the Romulans and, uh, like, the Cardassians, like, they've been pretty, mm-hmm. you know, they were pretty hit hard after the Dominion War and all that. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway, uh, we then basically see Picard seeming to kind of, like, Uh, gather his team now right so uh we see him uh meet up with um santiago cabrera who's playing chris rios um we see a shot of allison pill she's playing dr agnes gerardi uh he we see picard in the desert and that's where he meets michelle hurd uh which i i really like her work she's been in a lot of series and a lot of shows I don't. I'm sure I would know what she was. She she was in the first season of um, Law and Order SVU, and she was also yes. yeah yeah she yes. was, and she was also in another police drama. I think I think it was Homicide. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I, yeah, I never saw that. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Um. What else do we got here? We also get a shot of even Evagora as Elnor, a young Romulan. Um, we hear more voiceover. You, you need a crew. Be the captain. They remember. Um, and we get to see like the ship that Picard's going to be on. It, it's definitely not the Enterprise. It looks more like a almost like a cargo ship. Um <laughs> We get a few more shots of him, like, walking around a village with a backpack. It looks like he's back in France, maybe. Um, And then we get um, a little bit more dialogue. So actual France and not, like, space France. No, 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 not space France. (laughs) Is there space France? (laughs) I I don't know. I mean. There probably is space France. Surely there were other French people that went off into the stars and created another France somewhere. Yeah, I think you're right. with their replicated wine and cheese yeah fake they're (laughs) fake wine and cheese not real ones made by Mm -hmm. real grapes and all that business right um (laughs) uh, you know they have a they have artificial um berets you know that kind of (laughs) artificial berets i love it (laughs) they smoke fake cigarettes and eat fake baguettes right (laughs) we we (laughs) i am space french not Earth French. <laughs> oh, oh, did you did you ever hear about that? Um, Patrick Stewart tried to do a French accent for Jean Luc Picard. I did. <laughs> it's pretty. Terrible. Uh, it is pretty terrible. We'll have to find a find a, a clip of where he was talking about it. So if those of you out there have not seen or heard it, you'll you'll know. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty terrible. I'm glad he stuck with the British accent. Yeah. Uh, Cuz we know everybody who's, you know, in Europe has a British accent. That's the way that the world works as far as I know from movies and TV. Of course. 
I mean, I watched Chernobyl and all those Russians had British accents. I mean, that's what I expected. So I was not disappointed. Um, we do hear somebody say she has no idea what she truly is. And this is talking about Dodge. Um, they say she is the end of all. She is the destroyer. So, yeah, Dodge is going to be a really important character in this show. <laughs> Um, so it looks like she has the potential to be like uh, the means to bring down the Borg in some mm-hmm. way. Uh, what else we got here? Um, well, and if she's mm-hmm. related to Hugh, who was a Borg, but then was then he, uh, what's a good word for it? Like unassimilated? <laughs> I yeah, guess he was like, right. He was uh, he was like deassimilated or unassimilated. Yeah, yeah. 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 Either one Either. works. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to think. I was like, what would be a good word? And then I use assimilate, so I'll go for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then we see, like, a Borg cube that's under construction, looks like, um, mm-hmm. which is pretty scary that they're building up the Borg cube again, and it looks like the Romulans are involved in this, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh we then get a scene of Picard. He's pouring a drink. He t- and he hears someone talk to him. They say, "What the hell are you doing out here, Picard?" And it's Jerry Ryan reprising her role as Seven of Nine from Star Trek Voyager. And she asks him, "Saving the galaxy." Mm-hmm. So I I know that you didn't watch Voyager, but did you know who this character was? Yeah, I did. I was familiar with some of the characters, so I knew who she was. Okay, cool. Um, and like, you know, I knew who Janeway was, all those kind of people. So there's some of them that I knew who they were, but not, and I've never seen like a full episode or anything. Gotcha. Um, basically then we get a, some quick shots here. Um, we see Picard's crew is on the ship. Looks like the ship might be being attacked. We see Picard being dragged off by Romulan guards uh, another Borg on the table. Looks like this one is dead, though, and, like, someone's removing implants. Uh, and then, finally, we come to the very end of the trailer. Um, lots of shooting. We see Picard grabbing phasers and shooting people, and uh, someone's chasing Dodge down a hallway, and then we get, like, I don't know, the goosebump scene where Picard's on the bridge and he points out and he says, engage. <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> uh, it's like, as long as he also says make it so, I think then I don't care whatever else happens in this show. <laughs> oh, he has to say. If he doesn't say make it so, I'm gonna be, I will write a strongly worded letter to CBS. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? That I want him when he when he meets up with Riker to be like uh number 1 and then be like, "Oh, excuse me, Captain Riker." <laughs> yes, that would be great. I'm hoping for moments like that in the show. Like I'm expecting yeah. that, you know, like that, you know, where he's like number 1, I mean Captain Riker, you yeah. know. And then of course too, like, you know, at the end of Nemesis, at the beginning of Nemesis, Troy and Riker got married, so um, they seem to still be together, which is awesome. That's mm-hmm. great. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second, about all the people who are going to be coming back to the show. Um, and then we get that final scene at the end that we were talking about earlier. Picard is um, holding two cards in his hand. And, of course, there's a cup of tea there. We all know what's in that cup. Mm-hmm. Tea Earl Grey hot. Mm-hmm. And... Of of course. Of course, and nothing else will do. And then he says, I don't want the game to end. And then we see Brent Spiner in the data makeup saying, I can see that, Captain. And um, that's where our trailer ends. That's the end of the trailer. Um, so, yeah, I um, I think I thought, like, overall, for sure, th- this trailer gave us a really good flavor for, like, what we can expect. Mm-hmm. Um going into the show i think we're definitely going to see a good amount of action um hopefully we'll see some really good uh character development here as well so that should be really good i just hope it doesn't 
didn't show all the good bits. Yes, I hate when trailers do that. I don't that. think it will, like, because TV shows aren't quite as bad about it as uh, a lot of feature films. You know, they sometimes they can just make a movie look amazing and then it turns out to be Suicide Squad. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true, though. You know, and, but I, I feel like cause it's going to be ten episodes, so hopefully this is not the best bits out of ten episodes. Yeah, I, I'm totally on the same page with you is that I, I really hate when um I really hate when they just give away the whole store, you know, in in that first trailer. Um but I, I would imagine with a ten episode excuse me, is it ten? No, it's eight. With an, is it eight? Oh, I was thinking it was ten, sorry. I think oh it is ten. I was right. <laughs> Duh. Um with, with a ten episode run, I can't imagine this. If this is the best of 10 episodes, I'm going to be pretty upset. Right. <laughs> that we covered the best bits in our first episode. <laughs> um, so just a couple of quick little things I found on the internet here. Um, pa- Patrick Stewart has said that apparently there is a three-year plan for this series. So assuming oh. assuming season one does well, there are at least two more seasons planned for a full story arc for Picard. Exciting. Um, very exciting. Um, there, it was also an interesting exchange on Twitter that happened a couple of days ago. Uh, Robert Picardo, who played the Doctor on Voyager, mm-hmm. he retweeted some stuff about the Picard series, and he said, "Very exciting developments afoot." And Jerry Ryan replied, saying, "Now we just need you." And he Hmm. replied saying, we shall see, my lips are sealed. Hmm. So, in addition to the cameos we already know about, we already know Seven of Nine is going to be in this. Uh, Brent Spiner, we know, is in this. Um, Jonathan Darcy playing Hugh is in this. Um, Jonathan Frakes, Marina Sirtis, they're both in this as well. They're all listed for just one episode, which... Again, IMDb, uh, hit or miss, especially since they spelled Deanna Troy's name wrong. I don't, I don't really have full confidence that they have all their <laughs> details right. So we could potentially see some more um, cameos coming out. Mm-hmm. And um, that's really everything I've got. That is, uh, that's my trailer breakdown for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I guess the only thing I want to add is um, there are, Depending on where you are in the world, uh, there's different ways to watch this show. If you're here in the U.S., you can watch it on CBS All Access. If you are in Canada, you can see the Picard series on the Space Channel. Space! Space! The whole channel is about space! That's pretty cool. And then... Um... <laughs> no, I think... no, I think they play Doctor Who and stuff. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense to play Doctor Who on Space Channel. Yeah, Space Channel plays all that kind of like uh, sci-fi kind of stuff. It's sort of like sci-fi, but only uh, better. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for what I understand, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, for our friends overseas in the UK and, and Europe, wherever it's available, you can watch it on Amazon Prime, which is pretty exciting. So, Brooke, that's everything I've got for the trailer breakdown. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for it. Awesome. Um, yeah, so um, I've been going through on our uh, Twitter and following anyone who's ever been in Star- <laughs> any Star Trek and everything. Nice. <laughs> and we got followed by one of the guys. Did you look at that? No, I didn't see. Okay, hold on. I gotta find the. Uh. Uh. He. I can't remember which one he was from, but it's Manu in. Triami? Triami? I don't know. Let me see. I'm really sorry, sir, if I. (laughs) Since I mangled your name. (laughs) Oh, uh. I'm not really I, sure who he is. I feel bad. I don't know who he no, is. No, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let me find it. I'm trying to remember which one he was on. He was 
he played a character on Voyager. He was in 11 episodes. 